Hey guys, this is Daniel with Champion Industries, and today we are looking at reassembling our Champion DH6000 series dishwasher, our door machine right here, so we can get started washing some dishes. But the person last night did their, a great job taking everything out of this machine and leaving it open so it could dry out, so I'm going to put it all back together. So we're going to start with our pump intake screen. So this right here, down inside the tank, we got a couple of channels that this is just going to fit down inside. So I'm going to take that, slide it down so it can't come out. That pump intake screen has to be in there every time, no matter what, no exceptions. And you'll get a lot of life out of this dishwasher. All right, so next up, we have our little divider that goes in between the scrap screens. Now, you see there is a little notch right here. And this notch is going to fit inside right on top. So we've got a little slot in there. And I'm just going to push that in and lay it in place. And now I'm going to grab my scrap screens right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and set those down in place. I want to always make sure that both of those are in place. So next I'm going to start with my lower wash arm. I'm going to lay that on top there. And then I have my lower rinse arm. And then I have this right here. This little nut should just thread right onto there, and there should not be any obstruction whatsoever, and it'll go on there nice and hand snug. Once it stops, it stops. Don't ever put any sort of tools, like a channel locks, anything like that. Never use any tools, just nice and hand snug. Now we're going to repeat the process. We're just going to do it on the top one. So I'm going to slide my wash arm on first, then I'm going to go ahead and put my rinse arm, and at this point, I'll start threading it on. Just like on the bottom, once it stops, that's all you need. We're good to go. So at this point, I can go ahead and close my door. And what I'll do is go ahead and turn the power on. Once I hit this button, you'll hear the water start to rush into the machine to come in, and it'll start warming up. So we'll do that process now. 